Hey y'all, this is Joe, here at the Mini Homestead in Wheeling. Just let the chickens out for a while, before I cut the grass. We gotta let them get out there and roam around a little bit. Let them pick some bugs. <laughs> Dang, she was a quick one. Get the little dust baths in. You notice there's four of them. There's that's the fourth one, and over here is the fifth one. We're missing one. We had a sad day here. Uh, Bertha died last night at some time during the night. Uh, she was acting kind of funny. Gail said. And, uh, I don't know what it was. I mean, she just didn't act herself. She wasn't showing any distress or anything. Just, uh, didn't seem normal. Uh, not interested in eating. And that's totally unlike Bertha. So, we, uh, got to noticing with her giant eggs, we knew every day when she laid... It had been about a week, a week and a half since she had laid an egg. And uh, everybody seemed to say, well, it may have been egg block or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure what caused it. But when Gail came out uh, this morning to uh, feed him, she found Bertha had died. And that was Gail's favorite one, was Bertha. She loved Bertha. So, now we have five chickens. And these girls all seem fine. I mean, they're all being their normal, active, eating selves. But I guess that's what happens. So we're going to take... Bertha out tomorrow to St. Bernard Acres and Barrier. I don't think we should just throw her away. <laughs> Somehow that just doesn't seem right. Uh, so we'll go bury her. And then keep an eye on these girls and make sure they're fine. And like I said, they all appear to be. They enjoy their time out in his yard. Look at those weeds. One week. With all this rain and the sun. One week. <clears throat> Gotta cut again. But this is Joe here from Wheeling at the Mini Homestead. We'll talk to y'all later.